Hey guys, I'd like to uh, show off some of the Oculus Rift support in the stereoscopic renderer. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and use the reflection refraction example. Uh, and if you haven't used the stereoscopic render, it's really easy. It's, it's uh, less than five lines of code to modify any Sunburn project, including the free sun, Sunburn framework. Uh, I've also redistributed the uh, source code, which includes the shader for the Oculus Rift. Um, I'm not 100% sure this is exactly what it'll look like, but it's a lens distortion shader that looks pretty close to the pre-release screenshots. Um, and so go ahead and check out the video if you haven't seen it before. I'm going to walk through slightly uh, some advanced things after, <clears throat> after I show you guys what it looks like. So it, this is the refraction, re reflection refraction example. Uh, you can see it's a side-by-side -side view. Um, and... Uh, Right here, you can see the distortion as I look around. Uh, the uh, actual level of lens distortion uh, can be changed real time with the U and J keys. So you can see uh, if I amplified it. Obviously, this is way more than the Oculus Rift, but just to just to kind of see how how the magnification works. Uh, and then if you go into the negative space, which doesn't really actually exist, it does some interesting lens effects here. You can see it's pretty pretty crazy. Uh, not really sure what this is useful for, but uh, interesting nonetheless. Um, and then this is basically just kind of standard side by side, but uh, but you can see here. So this is probably pretty close to what the Oculus Rift will look like, uh, which then, of course, when it's distorted through the Rift's uh, glasses, becomes optically square uh, and is uh, in fact correct for the field of view. Now, looking at the code, in the original example, showed just the standard five-line uh, inclusion of the stereoscopic render and all that's the same there's two interesting caveats when you're dealing with a more complex project like the reflection refraction example uh, is introducing the concept of pre and post render uh, callbacks so this is basically any time you have work that you need to do before or after each frame uh, in this case you can see all this code here uh, was commented out because it wasn't needed anymore I left it here for the purpose of this demo and then this code as well and basically the meaningful parts of this code uh, the frame rendering stuff's taken care of you by the uh, by the stereoscopic renderer. The only interesting part uh, is this here. So it's just uh, clearing the depth buffer before the render, because uh, there's some other rendering that's that's actually happened before this for the various different uh, refraction uh, views. And then all the stuff that comes afterwards. So this is um, all the stuff for the, the water and orbs. So all of this stuff is effectively needs to be done for each eye. And so what you do is you create uh, callbacks that have this exact uh, signature. And so the signature is obviously uh, in the API, which takes camera, uh, a view, and a projection matrix. Um, and I've just captured that one line of code for the pre-render callback, and then this li these lines of code for the post-render callback. Uh, and then my call, uh, instead of actually passing uh, null here, uh, actually just passes these callbacks. And so that lets you use more complex uh, rendering techniques uh, with the stereoscopic render. If you want to see how this actually works, of course, you can look at the source code and, and walk through it uh, and, and look at the shaders as well. And, you know, this supports Oculus Rift, anaglyphic, anaglyphic opt optimized, top, bottom, left, right, uh, all of the standard uh, stereoscopic options that you need. So check it out, get going, and uh, make some cool content. Thanks.